<laughs> Mario 3, yay! All right, guys, welcome to Super Mario Brothers 3 100% co-op. Where nothing uh, goes wrong, yeah, ever. No, everything is totally consistent. The run is the same every time, you know, because <laughs> we, we play all the levels, right? So certainly everything's played in the same order. But uh, but no, I'm the Haxer, and uh, Mitch is Mitch obviously... Mitch Flower Power here. ...going to be my... Uh, other runner here. Mitch and I are going to have to do a lot of discussion throughout the course of the run to kind of stay on the same page with our decision making. So you'll get to hear a lot of that. So I think that's something that's maybe a little different than what you're used to right, when, right. when you see some of these runs. So. Yeah. So uh, just quick, uh, 100% includes all the levels, the Piranha Plant stages, all the Hammer Brothers, yeah. complete all the war worlds, no warping or anything like that. And yeah, with that being said, we are ready to go. So we can get a countdown in three, two, one, go. I am going to be Mario, and the Haxer is going to be Luigi. All right, so in uh, the first level here, Mitch is going to take it a little more conservative than he probably usually would. Going to do the rub at the beginning with the pipe. He is going to grab this mushroom, uh, which is going to allow him to get a leaf later on in the world. Uh, oh, all right, my job's easier. done. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> right, I did one thing. The hardest level's over, right? The, the hardest level yeah. is yeah. over. There's been previous runs where I don't know what I was doing in 1-1, one, one, but, you know, so. Hax is going to try and get a P-Speed here, a little Subpixel dependent. Didn't get it. That's my fault. Subpixels carry over. Um, whatever Subpixel Mario had in the previous level carries over to Luigi, so it's, um, it's my fault, but not my fault. <laughs> is it hard with me staring at you like this? If I just sit here and glare at you, is it harder? Is that any different than what we were doing earlier? <laughs> no, I was not helping Haxer earlier. I was making his life heck. So I'm going to go down and do four first so that I can get the leaf and fly in the fortress. And while I'm doing this level, this is a good opportunity for Haxer to tell you about the points and the spade card games. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so get it? <laughs> get points? Yeah, yeah, great. Um, <laughs> so you're going to notice he's going to try to avoid a lot of coins here uh, to keep his score low because uh, throughout the run, end card games spawn at every 80,000 points on the map. And when you go into one, it costs a lot of time. So we're trying to avoid forcing our co-runner to go into one of those and lose a what? bunch of time. Where was so. my one-up sound? <laughs> Got the glitch, very nice. Yeah, I got the glitch one-up sound. <laughs> I made no sound at all. No, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a big part of the routing here. So each time we go into one of those, it's going to cost roughly 15 seconds. I think it's a little less than that, but um, that's kind of a rough estimate. So. Uh-oh, I got extra coins. It's fine, though. I should be fine. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, that's normal to get them there. How many resets do we get? <laughs> How many times do we get to press reset? As many as we want, right? Like, yeah. Until we have the perfect run. So Whee! we're never going to so, leave. So the Hammer Brothers in co-op still affect us the same way like in normal runs. They are still jerks, and we have to on the fly kind of decide and figure out who's going to do what. We have some predetermined uh, paths and routes, but if you've ever watched Mario 3, you know the Hammer Brothers kind of dictate where you go sometimes. Yeah. So in World 2, both of us want to get a hammer, brother. I want to get a hammer. He wants to get the music box, and we'll see if that works out. Because World 1 is normally the same. Mario always beats the world just the, with how many levels there are. Yeah, sometimes the levels are a little different based on where the hammer bros fought in World 1, but that's really it. Looking like here, we're going to get uh, standard World 1, so... I like standard World 1. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you can get lucky and get Fire Flower from the Hammer, bro. That's pretty yeah. cool. Oh, more randomness? What a yeah. surprise. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay. So luckily he has a mushroom here for 1-5. This level can be really, really dicey. You can, like, clip into the hills and you can get stuck in ceilings. It's a nightmare. He might try for MFP Tunnel. I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. Oh, he's going for it. <gasps> oh, nice try. Nice try. I got the poor man's tunnel, you know? <laughs> I got the poor man's tunnel. Not bad, not bad. I think I have to do... So you guys are going to see a strategy that you would never see other than any percent. Yes, okay. Other than any percent. I have a tail going to this level, and one player, normally I don't. So I'm going to have to do a damage boost fly. Uh, hopefully I do it and don't fail. So wish me luck. Hey, there look at go. that. 
that. That's very scary. <laughs> yeah. That is very scary. I didn't want to talk during Yay. it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to, uh, you know, belly flop. Yeah, no, that No um, floppers. If, oh, my God. <laughs> that's not good. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I think it's because you didn't break any blocks and the... the uh, Hey, this is for charity. We got to get the yeah, coin I guess, I guess. This is a great time for a donation or donations. We can, you can definitely read a donation or two right here. Oh. All righty. Uh, so we do not oh, have on. any um, messages just, right just now. Just it so but... we don't get off course. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So uh, just just to remind everybody, uh, we do have a donation incentive for this run. Uh, if we reach 25,555, a nice uh, kill screen number there, uh, there will be a bonus any percent run uh, of Super Mario Brothers 3. So uh, that's going to be very, very exciting to see. It's one of, one of my favorite things to see just to see them completely weird out this game. <laughs> this, like, I know everyone says this never happens, but this never happened <laughs> once. I've never seen a coin ship in World 1. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> I thought it was impossible, but we did it. You guys got to see a coin ship. Charity for good fun. And we're at TwitchCon, so that's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, ideally we don't want to do what just happened there because, <laughs> as you can tell, that's a much slower stage than a Hammer Brother fight. So we can pet the doggo though. Can we? Any petters in chat? Looks like uh, you're not quite getting to the dog there. Yeah, I know. I get stuck there. <laughs> Toad won't let me pass. He's like, you got to save the kingdom before you get the pets. <laughs> that's right. All right. So still avoiding points. Still Is there avoiding. anything, um, anything you can let everyone know about? maybe future worlds or something like that? Before, yeah. Uh... Well, we can talk about at the end of these airships, there are bosses and their patterns are pretty consistent based on where you enter the level from. So, um, you know, Mitch should have some idea based on completing 1-6 and going to this airship, uh, what he's going to get in terms of a boss pattern and it's going to allow him to be able to fire kill the boss. Yeah, so from practice, according you know, to practice, we should be good, but yeah. we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, you never know, right? Yep, looks good. Yeah, take that, take that, <laughs> get him, get him. All right, first world down, 100% co-op. That's right. Woo! Um, one cool thing to note uh, is that when you beat the world, you get to do the first level of the next world. Yep. So when controlling the 80,000 points, you can see I have 58,000. I don't want to roll over 80,000 during this first level because the spade card is going to spawn where Haxer starts, yep. and we don't want that. So we want to make sure we just, you know, not get coin ships too. <laughs> the run <laughs> no kind of works out perfectly, you know, to where, at least for this first one, it doesn't spawn in front of me. So. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't get... That, that many points here, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Not 22,000, anyway. Gets a few points from, you know, stomping enemies, but that's that's all right. Do-do. Isn't Mario 3 music awesome? <laughs> it just, like, never dies. I've been listening to it for 13 years speedrunning. It's just I can still hear it. Never gets old. That is not what we wanted the Hammer that's Brother to do. That's not what we wanted. Are you surprised? No, I am not. I'm not. I mean, so, we already got a coin ship. So, so you're going to grab the backup mushroom here, right? Yep. Okay, okay. So a little backup mushroom here. Safety jumps. Nice. Okay. And in worlds two, four, seven, and eight, you cannot get coin ships. So we don't have to worry about our coins in this world, thankfully. Yep. Although I think I have way more points than I'm supposed to now. Because of, of that coin, coin ship. ship. Yeah. We don't talk about that coin <laughs> ship. Okay, so I should be spawning this. Ooh, that's good. He came back. We should be spawning the spade card game here on my last previous level, which was 2-1. Yeah, one thing that's kind of interesting as he moves between levels, a lot of times we're used to like mashing uh, on the D-pad or, you know, on the A button or something. You, don't, you can't do that during the co-op run because it's going to force a battle if he's moving over my tile and I'm doing that, so... Yeah, we actually learned if I press the start button while he's moving on the map, <laughs> I can steal his inputs. Yeah. I don't know how that came about, but <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> so I'm obviously going to get 3,000 points here, and when you see the spade card spawn, you're going to say, oh, I get it. This is how it works. So you see it's behind Luigi, 
and behind yep. Mario, and that's what we want to do every world. Yep. So we just have to watch. Next fate card is 160,000. Yep. Multiples of 80,000. Multiples of 80,000. And only the first person to cross it. Okay, we call this the green rocket. Well, Luigi is also green. There's too much green going on. <laughs> I feel like that leg was green too. Green leg, anyone? Everything's green. <laughs> Everything's good. The plants are green, pipes are green. <laughs> so even though Haxer has 77 coins, he doesn't really have to worry too much about yeah. what's going on on the screen. So. And the Hammer Brother, I don't get him, right? Yeah, correct. Because I get the scroll Hammer Scroll over, yep. yeah. So you're going to see some cool screen scroll. Don't have to worry about it. Very nice. And uh, this is actually, so far, a somewhat ideal world too. You have to really pay attention to the Hammer Brother at the bottom of the screen, see what he does. Yeah, it's kind of cool with the uh, Hammer Bros. You can skip them on a screen Did transition like that. Did you just say like cool that? and Hammer Brothers in the same sentence? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> but uh, you can skip over them. You have a single frame to do it, but on a screen scroll, you can actually uh, buffer the input and it'll be frame perfect. So Yeah. So I should go down and do 2-5 and chase him, although we're still going to get two movements of the Hammer Brothers, so... Oh, this was the Hammer. That's okay. I can go do 4, and I'll Hammer it, and then go do 5. Okay. Yeah. We still have to battle at the end, but yes. Yeah. Oh god, that was close. So as you can see, the Hammer Brothers already screwed us up. <laughs> that was fast. Was not what we were expecting. Uh, we just got early hammer, by the way. Just to let everyone know, we did just get early hammer, which never happens, but I guess. And the worst part is, is it's not helpful in 100% at all. Never helps. So what I can do is I can actually do this and then go down and do the pyramid. And then you can come back and do the bro after I do five. And that should keep us on track. So you want me to go do the music box? Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. No, I have to go do level five. Oh. <laughs> this is what happens when you're talking. <laughs> uh, th uh, so this is what makes this category extremely interesting, is that we constantly have to keep strategizing while we're playing. And yeah. if we don't do it now, when are we going to do it, right? So that's what makes it hard. Like, I could wait for him to finish the level, but then we have literally no time to figure out what to do. So am I going to get the... I'm going to get the whistle right get now, Get the whistle, right? or no, get the, get the music box, then go get the whistle, because I can do five. But you oh. need to get the music box, too. So I need to do yeah. five. You do mu music box, I do warp whistle, because I need the points. Do I need the music box? Yeah. We both need to get a Hammer Brother in Worlds 2 and 3. Okay. Well, I already got the hammer. <laughs> this game is so hard. <laughs> this game, it's because, because we didn't get the music yeah. box first. Yeah, yeah. This is actually a lot of fun. You would not get this in normal world record attempts. I'll so just fight it. Yeah, you I'll can get the warp whistle. I mean, a guy, what, you don't want the warp whistle? You don't want to accidentally... Uh... The extra screen scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're kind of back on track. We're a little... Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter which item we get, I don't think, right? No, which no. Which is no. good, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it, it kind of works out anyways. Yeah. I'm very sorry that this is slightly complicated with everything we're doing. This is just too much stuff. <laughs> I probably have too many points now. We have a $20 donation from Gokai Orange. Ooh! Hey, Kurt, me and the rest of the Anniverse crew want to wish you the best of luck with your first time hosting a GDQ segment. Break a leg out there. Oh, thank you. You did it. I did it. Good job. But yeah, now's a good time for more if you guys have them. We got auto scrollers. Okay, so uh, we are still uh, ra raising money for that uh, donation incentive for the Any Percent Run. We are $23,215. Uh, in total, so just under, uh, just over $2,000 before we reach that uh, incentive for the any percent run. So keep it coming, folks. We're good, though. You can get, you, you can get a coin in the 3-1. In the so remember how I said uh, we, shouldn't, we don't need to worry about Haxer's coins in World 2? Well, now we really need to worry about Haxer's coins in World 3 because he has 77 yep. and his 10's digit on a score is 7, which is what procs a coin ship. Now there's one thing you can note is that the odd, odd time, odds change, evens don't. So if you get an odd time here, it'll change by 5 on your 10's digit. If you get an even, it, will, it won't. 
But it doesn't matter because in 3 1, you should be able to get a coin somewhere. Where? Uh, it's, it's actually down below. That's what I thought, yeah. So you gotta hope. You just gotta get odds or evens at the end of 3 1. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. very easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it shouldn't be too bad. Nice try, buddy. All right, off screen one grab. He can do it. He can do it. Ah, oh, nice too try. <laughs> All right. That's world two done. All right. It's like I'm sweating. It's already been so stressful. Like, there's yeah. just so much stuff. Yeah. yeah. The good news is, I know you add or you end on an odd number. So, what, when you beat this level? Like, three normally? One. Yeah. You know for sure. I know for sure. It should be 289. Odds change, evens don't. That's no, all I odds, know. Odds don't change. Or odds change the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Odd That's time change, yeah, even yeah. doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I had to, like, sneak that the Grand Pooh Bear and during one of our races one time. I was like, don't worry, it's okay. Odds change. I should have switched it on him and be like, I'm going to win this race now. Yeah. So he should be good. So now he's going to try and make sure his, uh, the end level time, which is right now it's 293, 292. He wants that to be an odd time so that the tens digit increments by five because odd and even it only goes up by five or it doesn't go up at all. Why? That makes no sense, but that's how it is. Yep. There's just so much to pay attention to. That's just the way it okay. is. And there you go. So he got odds. So look at his tens digits. Going to go seven to and go by, by five and then now no coin ship. He just has to remember that for 3-3 three, three now. Luckily, you get, get coins. coins. Yeah. Luckily, you get coins. <laughs> Imagine double coin chip. <laughs> oh. oh, man. We should be fine, though. It's a really uh, tough piece beat at the beginning of this level, so um, he has to kind of wait for that uh, escalator to come down, and then he can um, oh. jump on it at the right time to allow him to build the P meter. So I think he just jumped slightly too large. Too big, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Too big of a jump. Yeah. It, it's scary because if you jump too low, you go in the drink yep. and it's really slow. Yep. Okay, decent hammer, brothers. We kind of want to keep them on the screen. If Luckily in this category, if they run away, it's not so bad. Yep. Um, but not to go into huge detail, the hammer brother can run off screen and it's just a nightmare to try and fight him early. Very nice level. I think out of all practice, this level gave you the hardest time. <laughs> so that's good. Give it up for Haxer. He did do it. I know he was nervous for this level. So that, I'm glad you did it. That was good. I didn't end up in the water. So 160, I should be stomping on this uh, boom boom to make sure we get it. I don't need to. No, you don't, I don't need, need to. to. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be good. We'll avoid one. And then we'll wait and see what the bros do to determine what we do there. But uh, ideally... Um, you have the music box, so if yeah. you want to work your magic, you can if you yeah. think it's a good idea. Because we, yeah, we have the spade card game, so I guess um, you could do four. I have to do five because I have the P-Wing. Mm -hmm. So I have to do five. So, I mean, you could do four. No, you could do Hammer Brother, I think. Yeah, let me just do that. Yeah, I think you can do it. Then we can figure out whether he's going to run away or not. Yeah, just each of us have to get one because we have to slow yeah. my score down. See, I have too much score right now, yeah. and I keep building it higher and higher over Haxer. I need to get Hammer Brothers and slow my score down a little bit. Oh, my items? You guys like all my items? <laughs> warp Whistle, P-Wing, Warp Whistle. You're hogging all the items. <laughs> And he really doesn't want those warp whistles. <laughs> no, get out of there. I don't want to accidentally press one. You always take a little bit of extra time just to make sure, you know, when you're doing a run like this. So the only good thing is that if you use a warp whistle in world five or six, you can go back and redo that. That's true. But I don't think the incentive was for 130%. Yeah. I don't think yeah, I can do not. that. <laughs> probably not. Oh. That's okay. He's gone forever. And we have a $25 donation from Smurgle Dwarf. Woo! Here are some extra coins for the World One coin ship. Let's get that bonus <laughs> any percent run. <laughs> Gotta get that jab in. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you that's right. need, yeah, you need more points, so. Yeah. Keep, uh, keep donating for that any percent run. Bonus Mario 3 yeah, content. Yeah, yeah, I get to break the game in three yeah. minutes. Four right. minutes, well, probably six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing's gonna go wrong, right? All right, we have $50 from Zaws. I didn't realize this run had so much math. It, yes. <laughs> it never goes our way. Way too much math. 
I really do think, though, the talking back and forth, and like, we have no choice. We have to do it between yeah. levels. I think that makes for really good strategy. Yeah. It's something you can grow on, right? And you can kind of get better. None of these runs that we have ever done is the exact same. No. Like, there's just way too many things that can happen. Yeah, we were practicing today, and we didn't get the Hammer Brother. As you can see, when I come out of this world, the Hammer Brother's going to be on the far right. He didn't do that once. We were able to fight him earlier, yeah. so... Um, yeah. <laughs> oh no, 100 points. <laughs> what will I do? <laughs> That's 100 bucks. 100 bones. So if you look at my coins, I want to watch out for 33, but I've played this game too much, so I know that there's three coins there. Safety strats. Yep. That's a good one. More safety strats to yep. jump. All right. So hopefully this Hammer Brother moves down because I need one. Yeah. I need one. I need one. I need one. Of course. Of course he didn't. Of course he goes left. So I the could use a box. You could, yeah. Do, do, do. That's why we have them. That is why we have music boxes. Very nice. This level is so pretty when done. It's like it rising and yeah. then you fall and then you go up. It looks so simple, but so many of those are just like single tile jumps. Right. <laughs> Li too many variables. Should I go down? No. Yeah. No. Because then I have to come back. It's uh, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Super swim. We'll do the extra scroll. Yeah, we'll do the extra scroll. There's so much to think about. Yeah. Uh, mashing swim doesn't really make me go faster, but if I just press it really fast, I can just hit max speed really early, I guess. Swimming doesn't really have... It's not like Mario 64 where, like, frame-perfect swims, you can really get some good boosts, but you don't want to swim slow, and you definitely don't want to rub up against an object because your speed will get reduced to zero until, yep. you, until you build the momentum back up. It really sucks. This is one of those levels, though, if you've never played Mario 3, you want to speedrun a level, you could probably learn this one pretty quickly. I'd say so, pretty yeah. quick, yeah. yeah. Can you press the A button? Yeah, yes, pretty much. You can do it. <laughs> He's just stuck. He can't move. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> Never gets old. So, we don't want to get eaten here. And Very bad. That's sad, though. No lunch for the fish. Nope. Boss Bass is going hungry today. Your fire flower, anyways, too hot. Yep. Too spicy. So on top of everything we just said, we're also watching the bottom right and level cards. Haxor has a flower and star. We want to not get three of those of the same because it creates a fanfare, and that is a big waste of time. So on top of everything, that's more stuff. <laughs> I love how, out of everything, it's not like doing the levels perfectly. That's not like an issue anymore. Like, we play way too much. It's just like, it's the little things. <laughs> yep. Like, this H jump is incredible he's about to do. A lot of pressure. Oh, yeah. Take out the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. He got the H jump. So, when, when, yeah, when speedrunning this game, this level is like one of the hurdles. When you get to World 3 on a good run, you're always worried about the level that I messed up yeah. and the level he didn't mess up. So we got one of the two. But yeah, 3-2 and 3-9 are the hardest levels yeah, when you get definitely. comfortable speedrunning this game. Definitely. Yeah, and 3-2, and I mean, it simply is one of the hardest levels in the game, period. Yes. So. You know. I don't want to say that's why Haxer made me play Mario. I was forced. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that later on the run when I have to play a really terrible water level. <laughs> um, so the next score is 240, which unfortunately, because I did 2-5 in World 2, I'm still, we're still gonna, we're gonna get screwed over by spade card, unfortunately. Yeah. Because I do this level, get points, and then I do 4-1 and I get more points, and there's not really anything I can do about it. We could do a battle or something like that, um, but that is actually longer than a spade card game, so. Yeah. Due to trial and error, we know that you just have to kind of, whoa, you just have to accept it. <laughs> you do not want to be stomping Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> The nice thing about Wendy is because you're moving to that pipe and then to the airship, you're always getting the same thing uh, when you go into this fight, for the most part. There's like small variances, but they don't really matter. 
Um, and fire makes this fight much easier because she won't fill the arena with the rings um, that she uses her wand to spawn if you use the fire flower. I tried, I tried. <laughs> All right, we have a $500 Woo! donation. Yeah! Let's go. From 26 kilograms of raw bacon. Ooh, sounds <laughs> delicious. How much for that 100 130% run you mentioned? <laughs> The, 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 the double warping. Hey, we can make it 160 percent if they want. <laughs> we got two warp whistles. We can That's go true. beat That's him, true. warp back, beat him again, warp back one more time. Well, technically, if you do the any percent run, it's almost gonna be 130 percent. Twenty-five thousand. So milestone. Yeah. yeah. You'll watch me beat World One and then beat the game in two seconds. Yeah. That's right. And we have a fifty-dollar donation from Stubbies. I've loved this day of speedrun so much, I don't want to see it end. What a great way to spend a Saturday and for, for, for such a great cause. Let's get to that bonus any percent run. If I don't shoot and I do stomp, 17,000? I think you might be good. I, should, I think I should try it. Yeah. I think I should try it. So I'm, not, I'm gonna opt out of a strat that secretly I didn't want to do anyways. <laughs> We're gonna pretend like I was like, oh, I'm so good, I don't need to worry about it, but that's not true. Right, and then don't shoot. Yeah. So I did all that stuff to try not to get, because if I beat this level and we don't get 17,000 points, then we don't have to do the extra, all right, moment of truth, 240,000. Yeah, yes. we did it. That was the right thing to yeah, do. Yeah, that's good. That's all good. right, so we didn't spawn the spade card game, and I'll spawn it next level, and we won't have to do it. Yeah. Nice, little time save. Turns out you're at like 230. You're going to spawn <laughs> it anyways. <laughs> I think I have way more points than normal, yeah. Nice. So he shoots that Koopa while bouncing off of it to despawn a Piranha Plant and allows them to use the breakable block for the other Piranha Plant, and boom. Yep. I don't remember these levels being so short. <laughs> That's got to be one of my top comments, for sure. Really? I don't remember these levels being so short. What happened? Yeah. That strat's kind of cool because it's just, it's not intuitive. It's like, right. just why would you shoot him? Yeah, in midair. Yeah. All right, just a reminder, we are very, very close to that uh, donation incentive to reach $25,555 to get that any percent run, any percent bonus run going. Uh, we are very, very close to 24000 so another $45 should just about do it to twenty four. Let's go. I just want to state, I can't guarantee that I'm going to do the glitch. It can crash. It can. I, you know, I'll get to the end, but I still might not beat it. He'll do it, you know, correctly, <laughs> at least. I'll but. still do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. All right, this fortress is very scary. I'm going to be quiet. Or am I? Yeah, that was awesome. That, that level is very, very hard. Um, and he didn't use a star, which I'm pretty impressed. Normally a star for safety, marathon, but Haxter doesn't care. He doesn't, nah, we, he don't, doesn't. we don't need stars. He yeah, wanted to see yeah. the three windows. Yeah, that's right. So I need cloud. There, there you go. go. There's my cloud. <laughs> All right. I will take it. The first time Mitch has ever been happy about a movement of four <laughs> in his life. Yep. <laughs> yep. There's so many clouds on screen. They're all so happy. <laughs> Maybe those clouds are at TwitchCon and everyone's happy. <laughs> do, do. All right. This level also very hard. Ah, that's okay. So he jumped a little too big off of that first yeah. uh, lack two, and he didn't have enough runway to build his P speed. Uh, if you cut it closer, you can build P speed. You save a bit of time, but he still should be good. He's got to watch out. Yeah, see, he's. You can tell he's made that mistake so many times. He knew that that was gonna happen. Very nice. Very nice. So what's our next? 320, right? 320, yep. Not 420? 320. Okay, I was <laughs> not, just making, I was just making not sure. 420. Can confirm. Yo, they're having a party up there? Just hope this is the P-Wing. P... Yeah! We there got we it. Go. There we go. Why couldn't I get this lucky in my runs? And I think I have to get the star, right? So. Yeah, you can get the star. Yep. Or I'm going to force the battle. No, I won't do that to you. <laughs> Can you imagine it just took us into the battle game? I mean, we're on the same tile. Yeah, it would. It would. I'm surprised it didn't. Do, 
do 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 All right, this level's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, it's all right, I suppose. Yeah, this is uh. I sw this level looks really difficult, uh, but I swear it's much easier than it looks. Uh, it looks really cool. So. That does look pretty cool, yeah. It does, yeah. Especially when he's, like, deciding to kill all the enemies possible. Yeah, I tried to kill a lot of enemies <laughs> there just yeah. for fun. Yeah. Getting those points? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I forgot the points. Oh, nice oh. try. Got the squeak. He wanted to go for the triple glory. He did the fortress, he did level four, he wanted to go for the P-Speed, which, so he, tr he tried to go for P-Speed in this level, which is arguably one of the hardest P-Speed strategies to yep. get consistent on. You can do it, but to get consistent on, easily one of the hardest strategies in the game. You gotta do a lot of manipulation, and I'm not, it's a headache, I'm not getting into it. Yeah. It's too much. I jumped too far to the pipe because I didn't wanna jump into the gap, because that's much worse, you know. And, uh, that's okay. You usually never get peace speed in this level anyway, so this, what just happened there is just standard. Oh, I just stubbed my toe going up. <laughs> yeah. Who hasn't stubbed their toe going up the stairs? Come on. Yeah, the, uh, he's got to do really particular jumps off the stairs at the beginning in order to build peace speed through that start section. So if you mess up the stairs, usually you're never getting it back. So ah, I don't have to do this auto-scroller. Yeah. I got all the time in the world. That's why you wanted to be Lui me to be Luigi, right? It's <laughs> yeah. just so you didn't have so to I play have this to do level. This stupid level. You have you have lots of time. Yeah. You have lots of time for donations if you yeah. got them. Enjoy your three minute break, sir. Thank you. All righty. So we have a hundred dollars uh, from Elo SF. Oh, Elos! <laughs> Woo! And they say, "Have fun, Mitch." Thank you very much. Not Haxer. Not me, though. <laughs> no. I'm not going to have fun here. Sorry. It's because that. I said I wasn't going to go into detail, and then you went right into detail of that, <laughs> <laughs> of that level. <laughs> All right, so we also have $5 from Cami Luna. Hey. Hello, Kurt. I'm really excited to hear you host a GDQ. And Mario 3 is my favorite NES game, so I'm double excited, even when this run feels like math homework. <laughs> I I'm hope so every sorry, it's true. <laughs> I hope everyone is having fun and will come out of this as a professional mathematician. Mario 3 mathematician, maybe. You have to admit, though, if you've never seen this co-op run, you are learning little things about Mario 3 that you still thought you know you couldn't do. You thought you knew everything about Mario 3, but yep. it just keeps going and going. Just like this auto scroller, it keeps going and going. You would think we're close to done, but we're like halfway done with this, maybe. The interesting thing to note is that the actual ship itself, the design of the ship, is shorter than most ships, but the auto scroll scrolls half the amount of speed than a regular ship. So it seems like it's a long ship, but it's not. Yeah. And also, it makes no sense. What is that part right there? What is that floating? What is this fire and wood ship? You know, Bowser's just a physics master, like how he has lava on the ceiling in 5F2, you know? It's like whatever. if the Black Pearl was made out of paper or something. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now he's close to being done. He's going to get an annoying off-screen flame, which you have to wait for. You see it's going, and then it's going to go again before... And then... Yeah, there you go. It can just damage you, even though you don't see it. It's really, really fair, you know? All right, nice. Awkward pattern, don't go through them. Nice, very nice. Any jumpers in chat? Nice. Off-screen one grab? Uh, I tried. He tried. But I failed. You didn't try hard enough. <laughs> no, that was good. Uh, that was clean world yeah. four. We got what we wanted item-wise because we're also planning for later worlds with the items we're getting now so we don't have to flip-flop yep. and kind of mess around. So uh, this is working out pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we have $25 from Stewie Cartman. Ooh, hey, Stu. How's hey, it Stu. going? All right, good luck, Mitch and Haxor. Said my Thank name first. Stu. Said my name first. <laughs> well, I am the second player, so that's fair. That is true. Yeah. All right. Ah, okay, so... Yeah, Haxer got stuck with doing all the really difficult P-Speed strategies that you don't normally see. Um, unfortunately, he didn't get that one either. Again, more manipulating of the P-Meter. Yeah. Odds are you're not going to see it in marathons, but going for it, uh, you got to give him the credit for it. 
Um, so you music box at some point here and then do three and spawn it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not going to spawn it here. You have the music box, by the way. Oh, that's right. So I music box yeah. after you do the fortress? Yeah. And then I go up and 320, though. I'm going to spawn it. So maybe I should do three? Mm, I'm going to hit yes. 320. I'm going to hit 320 before you hit 320, right? Yeah. I think that's Pop correct. quiz, what's your score right now? <laughs> do you know what your score is right now? I don't know what your score is. We have to like wait every level. Okay. I'm always behind you, so I, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not going to get 21,000. No, no way. No. no way am I going to get... Okay, so we're good. Yeah, should be fine. Oh, no, you're also not... You're also not going to spawn it either. Yay. No. <laughs> so that means... What, I need 33? I should do three, and you should go up. Okay. I'm right, because I'm going to spawn we should, first. I think we should split the Hammer Bros. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll still do three here. Yeah. We'll split the Hammer Brothers. You'll go up first. I'll spawn it behind you. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like Okay, fun. okay. Yeah, because there's no way I'm going to get 21,000 here. Or am I? Let's find out. Wait, if I'm really close, I can try and spawn it after the Hammer Brothers too. So I'll try yep. that. I'll just like keep hitting the blocks. <laughs> what do I get? Ten points for a block? Yeah. Oh god, that's <laughs> not that's not gonna work. No. So me doing this level in practice at all was not in the cards whatsoever. Not not at all. We did. I didn't even. I don't even know if I played this level today. Yeah. Normally this would not really be a consideration because. Uh, my points would be way less, but, you know, it goes back to we just had a weird thing happen, you know? Yeah, 14,000, yeah. so I'm six off. So, yeah, you yeah. got to go up first. Yeah. yeah, okay. No, this works, though. This works. So this is the practice paying off. Yeah. I don't think I'll get 17 from 5-4. No. If anything, you'll get, well, 16-5, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to get 100 in the Twisty Castle. Yeah. Milk him! Milk him! Get him! Oh, okay, that's fine. I will definitely get 6,000 in 5-5. Yep. Uh, five, five. All right, double Twisty Castle. Cool thing for anyone who's new to this, the Twisty Castle is actually not an official level. It's just a very elaborate pipe transition. So theoretically, in the 100% run or world record, if there was a way to skip this level, it would still be a 100% run, which is pretty cool. Why did they have to do this pipe transition? Bonus content. Bonus content. I did actually really like this level as a kid. Yeah. I, I thought it was really cool. It really gave the atmosphere that you were climbing up into the clouds. It yeah. really created that. And uh, I, always, I love the lamps, too. I thought the lamps were cool. Yeah, I really like this level a lot. It's a fun level to play as well. I mean, well, pipe transition to play. It's just, you know. <laughs> you got caught. Yeah, I you did got get caught. caught. <laughs> I did get caught. It's a little close, but... Maybe kill the Lactu? Oh, I'm only going to get... Yes! I've only got a thousand from it because I... Oh the my jump. gosh! The jump saved Look it. Look at your score! The, no, the frame perfect jump out of the pipe oh, saved it. Oh man, I cannot believe that you're yeah. like 400 points away. I can. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Thanks, by the way. That was nice. Yep. Now I don't have to do a spade card game, and neither do you. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. So, um, what would have happened there is normally he throws the spiny out, but the spiny didn't have a chance to fully spawn because I was able to maintain P speed out of the pipe. And uh, so I got 2,000 less points than normal uh, yep. from the yep. end of that. So. Yeah. Uh, if you let like four or five spinies come out before hitting the card, you can combo chain them to get a one up. I, yep. That was by their design. So uh, going there fast kind of stopped the chain. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Why didn't you tell? No, I'm just kidding. Double coin. <laughs> okay, but now, okay, anyone watching at home or in the crowd, but now can you understand? Like, it's just so much. Yeah. I wasn't even looking at my coins. I, there was, we were so much 
That's okay though. We never got any coin chips in any of the practice either. <laughs> no, you know, so, yeah, yeah. More con- more content. Bonus Look, content. Spade cart spawning, yep. coin chips spawning, yep. Hammer Brothers running around is it's too much. So I'll do the coin ship then. Okay. All right. So just a quick update. We have reached twenty-four thousand dollars. Um, should I do the coin ship? Uh, can you take a death? But my fire flower. <laughs> um. Uh, no, I can. I can try. I can try and take a death. I can leave five seven. Would that help? Uh, no. No. It's okay. It's okay though. Um. Yeah, I'll die. I'm just trying to figure out with a uh, uh, music box, but I don't think it matters at this point anymore. Right. Yeah. So I think we're good. It doesn't. I don't think it matters who gets it. Well, we're. You know what? The thing we were worried about was the spade cards, and that's the thing we're successfully avoiding yeah. this whole time. <laughs> yeah. And you know, if they lose way less time. Yeah, way less time. <laughs> they're, they're like eleven seconds. <laughs> a coin ship is like a minute and yeah. something. <laughs> but I'll, I'll just do the coin ship because I mean, you got to do one. What the heck? Yeah, why not? Do I get one? Oh, oh I don't have no. a choice, anyways. Well, well, I don't have a choice. I, he, it ran away. I think you should do the four. Too late. Oh. We should have discussed it before, Axer. <laughs> we should have discussed oh, we've it before. We've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me no time. <laughs> This is what happens when you let him make decisions on his own. <laughs> but I beat the level. <laughs> I think you'll still get to do it either way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course he went back there. Of course. I, I think oh. it's listening to us. Yeah, for sure. It's got a mind of its own. It's got a mind of its own. So you do this level, I do that one, you do that one. Okay, I still do it. Yep. And I should die because then I just do 6 2. Yo, the dry bone spawn. Very good. So next is flat four, and you beat this world. Yep. So we're good. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I hope everyone's really enjoying this game and the co op. It, it is just insane <laughs> the things we have to do. I hope everyone's having a great time. <laughs> I also didn't play this level once today. Very good. Thanks a lot, practice. <laughs> you know, we're, we're playing the levels pretty well. It's more so, you know, just... Uh, we're not playing our minds well. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the points and the coins, yeah. The tens digit in the coins. The, coin, really. the coins and the points. It's <laughs> too much math. There's too much. Okay, I got 12 lives. I'm in world five, 24 coins. It's like, uh, you know, Charlie Day and the, the board, and he's got all oh, the yeah, stuff with all on the, the board. Yeah, all yeah. The, Sonny and Philadelphia <laughs> with all the math, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't you get it? <laughs> and everybody at home is like, no, no, we really don't. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, math? <laughs> Click. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so far, we're doing pretty good on spade card games. Uh, Haxer's going to beat the world, so he's probably going to be the next one to spawn it, although I haven't been looking at my score. I've been looking at your score, so I'm not entirely sure, but it should be good. World 7 is where it gets hard because spade card games will spawn on pipe transitions, and World 7's full of them. Yeah. So if, even if you're not ready, each person has to keep going through all the pipe transitions, and it's really a one straight shot. If we did Warpless, you guys would see a, a weird route change, but... So I, I sh no, if I die here, I, I have to beat it. Yeah. Unless you want to battle, do you want to nah, battle? Nah, just beat it. Okay. Hey! Have some fun. Hey, we got time for donations! Let's go! Hit that 25,000! Oh. Alrighty, so we Woo. got $10 from Fat Cat. Woo! Uh, this is going much faster than when AK Potatoes and I ran it. <laughs> All right, we also got uh, $50 from Gooey. Oh, Gooey! Hi, Mitch and Haxor. Fun, greater than records, IMO. I, as a recently diagnosed autistic adult, I have to donate. Able gamers being able to alleviate the struggles I went through till now. Take my freaking money. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing as well. Yeah, appreciate that. All right, we also have $25 from Library Nerd. Good luck, Haxor. Oh. oh! And also Pick Mitch. It, I, Mitch. <laughs> and also it. Mitch, I suppose. Oh, I suppose. Okay. You know what? I'm getting this one up. <laughs> All right. We get to do a cool double kill. Boom, boom. Bye. Very cool. 
Yay! Whee! Congrats on your music box, man. Thank you. <laughs> uh, little Mario 3 lore is that when you fight a Hammer Brother or when you're in a scenario like that, the chest will appear on the opposite side that Mario is on. It's never just one side, it's always the opposite. So if you run to one side when it's going to spawn, it'll trick you and spawn on the other side. Why did they do that? They're like, let's trick them at every avenue. Uh, I mean, you've seen the rest of the game, right? Like, you know. No, I, I play this game with my eyes closed. I just can't bear it. I it's, wish. It's I wish I played it with my eyes closed. <laughs> When's Blindfold Runs? The block. Yeah, we did it. Somebody's got to clean that block. It's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. Yep. Doo, 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 doo. All right, auto scroller. We have time for one more, one or two more if you guys have them. Yeah, sure thing. So we got uh, $25 from Kubaru, longtime watcher, first time donator at a live event in person. Woo! Yeah. Shout out Thank from the you. audience. Woo! And uh, so happy to see this 100% SMB3 run with uh, Mitch in the Hacksaw Live. Love GDQ, love TwitchCon, love supporting a good cause, and would love to see us get to that SMB3 any percent bonus run. Yeah. You know, I actually like this run didn't go entirely our way because it really shows how much we yeah. have to, you know. And, you know, we can't do this online. Like, no. No. I mean, we could do it on the Switch online. I forgot I could fire kill this guy because we've been playing Warbless today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we have. <laughs> Warpless. Okay, if you thought 100% was ugly, Warpless is like, you skip levels and stuff. That is just a nightmare. We didn't know <laughs> what we were doing. Getting clouds and getting P-wings. We came up with a new idea, like... We did a, a, triple, yeah. a triple cloud music box combo. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. Skipping four stages at the end of a world. Four levels at the end of yep. World 7 we tried to skip. That's crazy. Oh, hi, hi, Cloud. So you won't get four flat. No. Thankfully. So we both need to hit 480 in this world, though, right? For World 7 to work. We both have to hit 480. I, I need to be under. Under 480? Because, yeah, I, because, because then you I'll beat it. On it. Yeah, you need to be under after 7 1, though. Yep. Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, so you do auto scroller then? Yep. I'm paying attention, okay? You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> oh, why'd you say that? <laughs> you made me nervous. I, 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 I was blushing and so happy. <laughs> All right. Uh, losing Fire Flower there is actually not that bad because we have some like P Wings and yep. some small Mario stuff. Uh, happening here. So I'll fight the hammer, bro. And um, the auto-scroller. Yep, and then go do the auto-scroller. This is where Haxer gets his uh, revenge and is like, I'll just do the, the slow stuff, you can do the hard stuff. <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut earlier. <laughs> but hey, I'm Mario. <laughs> what can I say? All right. <laughs> yeah, we get to see a little backup strat. Normally here he would have two power-ups, but there is a power-up in this block. That he's gonna use. Ooh. I think no, 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 okay. no, no. Nope. I'm not. Nope. No. Nope. Not good. I'm nope. not good. I had nope. no. I had no momentum. I am <laughs> no. not going for it. That's fair. But we could try a clip that you'll never see. Do I get it? Ah. Uh, okay. So I want to just damage boost here. Yep. So I can just get this star. Wait comfortably. Hey. Thank Pause. you. <laughs> Pause. Pause. Oh, come on. Just jump over. Yes. Oh, yeah! Orb! You had no time left. <laughs> no, that was, that was single frame kill. Yeah. That was awesome. It is fun when things don't perfectly work out well. Yeah. I like it. But it still worked out. Yeah. So the reason we kind of did this as well is because the next level that I'm going to do uh, is a little bit better with small Mario. So if, if Haxer did the fort and then I did this level or vice versa and he had Fire Flower, he'd make that small Mario level a little bit harder. And I need to P-Wing anyways, so it, it really does work out uh, really well. Um, but yeah, we're really not messing up the levels too much in this. A little no. flip-ups here and there. Yeah. The coin ships are really causing yeah. us to maybe go over yeah. our allotted time, but I think we're okay. <laughs> I think Play we're the coin fine. ships. Yeah. All right, just a quick, just quick update. We have reached twenty-five thousand oh, dollars. Right, let's go. 
We are $555 away from that any percent incentive. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, thing to note is that coin ships are just Hammer Brothers turned into coin ships, so you can still blame the Hammer Brothers. Yeah, it's always their fault. It's always their fault. Yeah, it's it is interesting though. This game does fly by like really fast it does. too. Like we're already in World Six. Why? Yep. <clears throat> very nice level. Very very nice level. Nice auto scroller. Well played. Well played. Well yeah. played. World record caliber. Four hundred flat. Wow. Thank, thanks, Haxer. I can't believe you didn't get there first. Oh. No, that's so weird. It's Hammer Brother. Wait, yeah. Hammer Brother placement. Yeah. I saw, wait, no, hold on. I saw you get. I saw you farming points. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Am I good? Yeah. Okay, okay you're fine. Do 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 do. The sound that never gets old. Um. So do you want me to cloud then? Cloud what? And kill the Hammer Brothers? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Go ahead. Do I have extra clouds? Well, I get a cloud anyway. I get a cloud back. Okay. Yeah, because I need... I, I'm going to P-Wing. Yeah, we, oh, don't, we don't need clouds. This isn't warpless. Yeah. <laughs> Just for World 8. Yeah, if the Hammer Brother goes in my way, I'll do the top level, and okay. then you do that, and then I'll do bottom, then you do Auto okay. Scroller, and of okay. course he went my way. <laughs> Well, you got to do the bottom level, or the top level anyway, so it's all right. Do I, though? Do I? You don't have to. Normally, I'm the one that does this level, so. All right, we have $500 from Elos F. Hey! Okay, good luck to both Mitch and Haxor. Make, <laughs> make Mitch work. Let's get the incentive. I didn't want to talk here because this is a really scary, very and scary. bad water level. <laughs> so uh, Mitch did a great job there, uh, taking it a little safe at the end. Got unlucky. There was a plant he was trying to despawn, which didn't despawn. I can't believe it. What more? Yeah. More RNG? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. G whiz. Um, I don't know. A hammer, brother. Oh yeah, I should. Okay. That's why I'm on your team, buddy. <laughs> well, I was trying to think if you have a cloud or not. Pro uh, probably. Oh. I don't think you do. I got him World 4. Did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I got him World 4. We're going to find out right now. Do I have a cloud? Look at my inventory, everyone. Yes. Okay, good. Good. I just saw I had like a million clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Too many yeah. items. I thought I tail swiped there early. I was very scared. Ba -na 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 -na. Yeah, very cool level there. He was able to... There's usually two nippers at the top there, but he was able to move to the right on the screen fast enough that the second one didn't spawn because there's a sprite limit, basically. Yeah, I just abused the NES's capabilities yeah. by having too much stuff on the screen. Yeah. I just despawned it. Do -do 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 Wait. I'm doing 7-1. No, we're still on track. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, we have two hundred and fifty dollars from my Komagata. Hey, my! Yeah. Now let's see that any percent at GDQX. Woo! Looks like we also have uh, fifteen dollars from MC Kaipo. Great job, gents. Also, hi, mom, in the live audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're getting near the end of um, quite a few auto scrollers. World Seven only has one of them, so yeah. um, and then there's a, there's like five more in uh, World Eight, so that's about it. And then all the Hammer Brothers are gone now. There's no Hammer Brothers in World Seven or World, uh, World Eight, so we don't have to worry about coin ships or anything. Uh, we don't have to worry about any coin ships, and then we just have to worry about one more Spade Card game. Yep. Which I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I, I think I still have to stay under for a... No, you need to go over. Okay, which yeah. I'm going to. Yeah, you will. I think. I think. Any hammer suits in chat? Okay, we're good. We're good. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is GDQX. We're all having fun. <laughs> hey, don't worry about my piece speed, okay? Hey, that was a very beautiful piece speed. <laughs> Thank you. Boom. Is that why it's called Boom Boom? One of the creators stomped up boom. and was like, Boom! <laughs> boom! <laughs> you imagine it was three booms, their name's Boom Boom Boom. <laughs> So you have the P-Wing? Yeah. First thing, yeah. I do. Do, 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 do. So this level's really cool. It lags a lot. And luckily, there's grab blocks everywhere. It allows Haxer to grab one at the start of the level and literally throw it. And then you can just build P-Speed and run through the whole thing and get two flowers in the bottom right-hand corner. See, it's got two flowers. You got to watch out now because you actually get a flower in 7-1 too. So you got to watch out for that. Yeah. Is the fanfare the icing on the cake? We've gotten everything we don't want to get. Yep. Just bonus content. I knew everything would go our way. <laughs> it always does. So I used the ice there to allow me to keep uh, momentum and peace speed. Normally, that would not work if it was normal ground, right? Yeah. I don't think that would work. He has to also yeah, maintain cool. enough speed under there to keep his peace speed on the other side. Yeah. It's really tricky. Oh. We didn't have one spawned. No, we did, but we fought it. Right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's okay. That's yeah, okay, we're, though. We're good, then. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. We. Okay, cool. Just had to make sure. <laughs> um, I don't think I need to go for fast 7 2, right? You got a star. Nah. I think enough things have gone wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to play our cards right. Yeah. Honestly, not that much has gone wrong. It was really just the two coin ships, which isn't a big deal at the no. end of the day. Yeah. It is a little annoying just because we are in control of those coin ships. Yeah. But there, there's just, there's so much to pay attention to. L listen, well, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We messed up, all right. Yeah. We're, we're sorry. You got to <laughs> own it. You got to own it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And again... Haxer gets the auto scrollers. <laughs> so I guess this gives me a chance. I'm not going to go into too crazy detail about subpixel manipulation when it comes to clips, but he is going to do a subpixel manipulation. And the one he's going to do is kind of like a marathon safe strategy. And what that means is he's going to stand in front of the wand after it falls and just tap forward until he touches the wand. The wand will stop him from moving forward, so he'll have the right subpixel just by standing there. It is slower, but it is much safer because I don't know if any of you have watched Mario 3 streams, but when somebody misses 7-1 once, they're probably going to miss it another 10, 20 more times, and yeah. there you go. That's it. Yeah. And just want to remind everybody, we are uh, just over $400 away from that any percent Let's run, go. so keep it coming in. If, if you're in the live audience, you can donate too. Just go to gamesdonequick.com. All right, so uh, we, also, we have uh, $75 from Chum Beast, donating to a good cause and enjoying some solid content. Thanks for all you do. Thanks, Chum Beast. And we also have $13.20 from CC. The coin ships are a metaphor for donations. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That also gives us more time for donations. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. Very true. All right, we have uh, $50 from PS Ford. Let's Don't go, me. MFB and Haxor. Great run so far. And let's get that any percent run. Absolutely. All right, so you guys are going to see pretty much what I explained. We're going to let the wand drop first, or at least be pretty close to it. And he's going to stand still. Take damage. Yeah. A little too far. Yeah, very nice. Did you press too hard? Yeah. You pressed too hard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was okay. I think I was on the right pixel. You think so? I, yeah. I thought you were so, too far to the left one. I, I thought I might have been too, but I think it's because you don't see the outline in, in uh, Luigi's foot. Right, yeah. right. Um so we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm maybe I'm on the right one. 14. I, Praise, praise the 14. So there's 16 subpixels, and only two of them work for the trick he's going to do. It's the subpixel 15 and 14, which is what happens when Mario or Luigi moves left one pixel. Yep. He goes down, and he needs them to work to get the clip consistently, and we'll see if he gets it. 
Oh, so he did the correct setup. Or sorry, he did the correct jump, but he, he didn't have the right sub pixel. So he did press too hard for his setup. But he, hey, he got it! Didn't go in the door. That's the important thing. Yeah. Didn't go in the door. When you miss it that first try, instantly oh, the body man. temperature rises. It's yeah. just, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like, don't press up. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thanks. So we'll actually spawn another one at 560, by the way. Okay. Whoever that's on. Yeah. Probably you, I think. I think. <laughs> Tell those oh, whistle. warp whistles. <laughs> So yeah, um, Mitch is going to use a star here. It's going to allow him to build P-Speed at the beginning and utilize this for the entire level. So um, really cool strat here. There is a slightly faster way of doing it, but if you miss it, you lose like 30, 40 seconds. Yeah, it's like so, longer than a coin ship. Yeah. So uh, being that we spawned a couple coin ships. I thought, I thought it was yeah. the right idea. Yeah, yeah. Don't test me. I would have gone for it. Okay. <laughs> I know you would have. <laughs> okay, so 560. Yep. Okay. Which is going to be me. It should be. I th think. It's going to be. And I do the Piranha Plant stage too, so... I think it's going to be on the last island, so we're probably going to be fine. Okay. And this level is deceptively easy. Yep. It looks like a lot is going on, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But it is pretty easy. That lack of two is set up perfectly just so you can full big jump, land yeah. right on it, clear the whole gap. Haxer is now Haxer Flower Power, apparently. You're taking my glory. I'm the flower power. <laughs> it <laughs> is I up. who enjoy the flowers. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting stars and mushrooms <laughs> over here. I've had 33 coins for so long. So uh, Mitch gets the honor of playing the best level in the game. Sea creatures. No, I will not sing it. <laughs> oh, I hear some people. Oh. So this is a fantastic time for donations. In fact, if you guys want to black out the screen, it might honestly be a better viewing experience. <laughs> <laughs> Only speedrunners hate this level. Yeah. I think casuals like That's it. That's true. All right, so just to, you know, incentivize some more donations here, uh, we do have a lovely assortment of prizes to give away. We have a Mina the Hollower uh, 3D painted sprite from Explosive Action for a $5 minimum donation. Uh, there's some really nice glass and spirit and, and orbs and light up coasters uh, from Cute Monster Props. That's for a $20 minimum donation. Uh, we have a fairy fountain candle uh, provided by Retro Flame for uh, just a $5 minimum donation. You can get in, get, get into the drawing for that prize. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have a Legends of Localization and Fan Gamer book collection provided by, well, Fan Gamer and Legends yeah, of Localization. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a $25 minimum donation. <laughs> have a silicone ditto, uh, so that's provided by Cute Monster Props. That's a $10 minimum donation. We yeah. <laughs> have a power mitt, so that's a power glove oven mitt. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. So that's provided by Fan Gamer, $10 minimum donation for that trust. one. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the reason we don't like that level is your experience playing it is different every time. The enemies don't spawn the same. No. Nope. They don't behave the same. No. Nope. Yeah. The, the, the little fish that swim across randomly, like I just said, random. Yeah. So unfortunately. And then I leave Haxer with a sub-pixel. That's good, I hope. Yeah! Let's nice! Go. Let's go! That's a good one to get. Absolutely. I love how you took damage, or you tail swiped them and stomped them at the same yep. time. Like, how does that even work? I don't know. How many people thought he was going to run into that turtle shell? It <laughs> looked like you were. I'm a professional, okay? It's true. He is. He has a 109 and 100%. That's true. I do have a 109 <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did the turn back. I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted the 16 frame turn back. <laughs> Okay, 560. I do Piranha Plant here, I know that. Weep, weep. Ah, stepping on cords here. That intentional intent. I yep. swear that was. No, you gotta believe me, that was intentional, I swear. All right. 
Oh, you know what? Thing about it, I should have gone back and done this because I don't have another P wing. But that's okay. You don't? Nah. You don't need a P wing. Well, for seven nine. You don't need a P wing. Nah, I don't. I don't need one. I but want one. I want one. <laughs> that level's awful. <laughs> As if you didn't already have enough items, you needed more. Yeah. I'm greedy. Yeah, give me, give me the items. Yeah. <laughs> you like cover your screen when you open up your inventory? Don't look. I can, I can see it on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look, it's empty. <laughs> yeah, you never look at a, another person's inventory. Let's take a quick peek, huh? Yeah. You've probably got like two items in yours. Mind your business, okay? <laughs> Mind you, yeah, I got two, two wharf whistles and like a music. I have, I have two music boxes still. Yeah. <laughs> what? I have a fire flower. What? Did you do? A, oh, you got it from the matching game. That's of right. Of course, I was scared. I didn't know if I needed it later. <laughs> right, we are so, so close to that any percent uh, incentive. Oh, we are less than $200 away, so keep it coming, folks. I hope everyone is enjoying the run. I hope everyone is having a good time. We're at TwitchCon. But you know what I can do? I have this item called a cloud in my inventory. That's right. We talked about this earlier. We did. Nice inventory. Thank you, sir. Stars like my and, star. Stars and hammer. I'm a star. <laughs> uh, damage here for fire, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nice. Nice jump. It's your, it's your first day. Yeah. I, don't, don't worry. It's okay. I kind of went for that clip. Kind of. So I'm curious. Why couldn't you do this level this good in practice? We needed it. I, I'm. Uh, we needed it, Haxer. You know, I when, when the pressure's on, I perform. That's just uh, that's just the kind of guy I am. You know. There you go. So if I lose hammer suit, should I just do it because I have a fire flower? Technically, it's faster. I just do the level 100% style. No, let's get the hammer suit. Let's get it's the cool. hammer suit. Yeah. We want to watch me beep, lose beep. the hammer suit. <laughs> Yeah, you guys want to watch me lose the hammer suit? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. So yeah, really cool. This is one of two stages you can get a hammer suit from, and he's going to use the bonus room in order to do so. And this is going to allow him to kill Bowser really quickly because one of the things about 100% Oh, in terms hold on. Of oh. We should be okay, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it back. There we go. Perfect. Double shot into the card. Yeah, in terms of 100%, Mario will beat Bowser, assuming everything goes die. right. Yeah. Everything goes right. <laughs> so now you do seven, right? Because you have fire. Should I go for the clip? Like a couple attempts? Yeah, try once or twice. Yeah. Go for a seven, seven clip. Never works. Oh, that was close. One more try. One more try. Get peace speed. One more try. You can do it. If everyone cheers, Haxer will get it. If everyone cheers, he will get it right here, right now. Oh, one more, one more. One more. He's getting greedy. Ah, oh, nice try. <laughs> that clip is literally impossible. Oh, that star grab? No. Oh. I don't know about you, but I grab items from the bottom. Very nice. Important duck input. Mario 3 did it before Mario Maker. I just want to point that out. <laughs> the star run. Yeah. yeah, the star run levels in Mario Maker. <laughs> Mario 3 did everything bad first, but also everything good. <laughs> All right. This, I, I'm not excited for this. All right, here we go. I am. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. The scariest part is over. Not the hardest part, though. Believe it or not, this room is the hardest part of the stage, but... Oh, so close. We still got him. Yep. We kept the hammer suit. We did it. <laughs> that, that level is the hardest one at the end of the run. Yep. There it is. <laughs> that was I told scary. You. I told you. You're doing great. You're doing great, Mitch. He didn't, he didn't tell me. He said nothing. No, you did tell me. I'm... Pop quiz, what item is this? It's a mushroom. <laughs> Yay. You gonna go for the clip? 
Oh. You try to go for the you other know. flip. My first auto scroller. Yeah. Yay. You know, had that hammer bro in World Six moved up, we would have skipped all the cards. I'm just gonna point that out. We would have skipped all the cards. That's yeah. right. Yep. Despite everything weird that happened. It had to be at the crossroads, right? It, it had, had to, to be. be at the had crossroads. All right, we are almost a hundred dollars away from getting that any percentage done. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, read some what, read some donations that we got. So uh, we have twenty seven dollars from non binary code. Would one of these runners be able to teach me a couple of good hacksaw? What? <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? S B three mix. <laughs> I'm yep. sorry. Anyway, let's get that any percent run. All right, and uh, we got fifty dollars from Forest Kitty. Ah, there we go. There Let, we go. Let's go. Ahead, let's go and hit that donation goal for any percent. Great job, Mix and Hacksaw. Woo! Got a hundred dollars from Ben Rett. Yo, Ben with the ten. <laughs> <laughs> got to get that any percent run. Battle for Bowser's Castle. Oh. Ooh. And uh, we got twenty-five dollars from Doom Church. Thank you, GDQ. Let's get this bonus run. You want the glory? Should we? Battle for Bowser's... You know, if you keep the hammer suit, you should have it. Okay, well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Because, you know, that means you've played really well in World 7 at the end. You've played really well in 8, and your reward is the glory, right? Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm going to intentionally battle us. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to throw. <laughs> yeah. So this auto-scroller is actually the, the longest ship... Um, and the the slowest, right? Like it's uh, the longest in time, yep. and it's actually built the longest. Exactly. Yep. It's not like the World Four airship, which is a scam, <laughs> which is a normal size airship that just <laughs> takes twice as long to go through. <laughs> scam ship. <laughs> and uh, the great part about Mario Three is you've done all this really stressful stuff at the end of World Seven and in World Seven, and now you get like six minutes consecutive Vada scrollers. So. Yeah, that's actually the worst part about the co-op 100% because I just did the two and a half minute auto scroller and now I got to do the first tank, which yep. is another minute. And then I get to do one. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so that's yeah, good. you go a really long time between playing an actual level and, uh, you know, I think sometimes it's tough to stay in a rhythm um, with, with your run. Right, you're kind of yeah. just sitting around for like four minutes. Yeah. So, you, you know, what are you supposed to do? And you can't press anything. You can't keep your fingers warmed up by like tapping or mashing because it, it'll it'll mess me up. Yep. And you kind of have to still pay attention on the auto scrollers a little bit because, you know, you don't want to take damage. Or... Yep. So, yeah, we have time for some more donations if we have them. Or you could tell us a good joke. <laughs> okay, I got a good joke. This is my favorite joke. Okay. An A sharp, a B flat, and a D flat walked into a bar. And the bartender says, sorry, I don't serve minors. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's good. On the fly joke. I like it. Absolutely. If you put me on the spot like that, I wouldn't know what to say. I, that's, I, that's always my like, go-to. I, <laughs> I know lots of jokes until somebody asks me for a joke, and then I don't know any jokes. I don't know what happens. It's like, what was the last time I heard a joke? Yeah. All right, I do want to remind... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? We have reached that incentive Woo! for the Eddie Run. We have crossed $25,555. But uh, that doesn't mean you should stop donating, of course. No, right. no. Yeah, keep exactly. doing it. Yeah. So, yeah, one of the uh, differences in this run compared to most runs of this game is we still play the hand stages that'll be coming up here in World 8. Uh, and what the hand stages are, there are three stages on the next screen that will pull you in and you'll see a hand animation come out. Um, it's it's RNG whether or not each stage pulls you in. No, and, Mario 3 RNG? <laughs> Mario no RNG. way. Yeah. Um, and so the hand animation itself actually costs time, so ideally we would like to enter the stages manually, so we still don't want to see hand animation. Yeah, we don't Yeah, we don't see hand animation. So once we uh, start going in the pipe, we're going to need people to start, you know, cheering on a little bit for the, uh, the no hands here. No hands, no hands. Yeah. Wait, not yet? Not yet, not yet. Oh, okay, sorry. Premature. I was just so excited. <laughs> One more stage. Oh, I played for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's over. So stressful, too. One thing I like 
is World 8. I think they did a really, really good job in this game of captivating, like, the scariness and darkness of World 8, like a Bowser kingdom. Yeah, definitely. Especially with the, uh, the stage here. Like, what is the water? I don't... Right. <laughs> I don't know. Some people say chocolate milk, chocolate water. I don't know. My headcanon has always been baked beans. <laughs> oh, God, baked beans. <laughs> I do want to remind uh, everybody about uh, some more prizes that we have. We have a shiny Mew Plush keychain provided by Blanco Crafts. Uh, that's a $10 minimum donation for that one. We got a Hotline Miami acrylic charm uh, provided by Vats of Goop. Uh, that's a $5 minimum donation for that one. Uh, let's see. We got a Pokemon Diorama bundle provided by Happy Taco Studio for $25 minimum donation on that one. So you've got a Rayquaza playmat uh, provided by Crow, Crow Party, $15 minimum donation on that one. So yeah, uh, like like we said, uh, just because we met that goal doesn't mean y'all need to stop donating. Keep it coming. Able Gamers really needs it. Absolutely. Orb. We got the orb. Bro. So now it's hand time. And again, I want to be able to select the hand stage, so you don't want to see any hands coming up and grabbing. No hands. Mario looks so weird with the hammer suit and that, like, icon. Yeah. I like his tan, <laughs> but only when you're in the actual level. Right. Hey! There we go. There's one. That's good. Oh, you gave me a really bad pattern. <laughs> oh, God. Where am I? Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> That is like, hey, at least I still have a fire flower. Wait, are we going to fight to the death now? We should. Fight for the Bowser? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing you're playing hand three, too. Right. Well, I'll just, I'm just going to equip my fire flower. Like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have right. the fire flower. Right. There we go. Two no hands. Yeah, if somebody can clip that and create a screenshot of the frame that I lost damage and where the Hammer Brother was, I would love to see that. It definitely wasn't touching him. <laughs> I can tell you that much. What sucks is, like, I went safe because I realized something bad was happening yeah. and I still got punished. Yep. Hey, no hands! You know, it, it figures it's punished us enough, I suppose, huh? Why did I do that? I don't know. You felt like doing something you did five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that strat's still good, okay? I it, swear to it God, works. it works. It's because we brought it up today. Yeah. I feel like it was like something happened yeah. and just got brought up. Your, your muscle memory's like, oh, let me do that thing I did five years ago. Okay, so do I not cloud the fortress because we're just going to battle anyways? Yeah, sure. I'm glad we worked so hard to get that cloud. <laughs> Yeah, how's our, how's our time? Are we doing good? Do we have enough time to battle one battle game for Bowser? Looks like we do, yes. Oh, okay. There, there you go. We can battle for Bowser. One battle. We played the battle game once today. Uh-oh. I think it was like two minutes before our run started. So yeah. yeah. We're professionals, so... Oh, this auto scroller is very strange because because of how fast it goes, it actually changes slightly yep. how Mario is controlled, and that's why it was always so difficult for a lot of people, you know, when we were younger. And it was because it wasn't normally how you control Mario. It like kind of makes him a little more lighter or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, it, it is. It is weird. Yeah, we uh, kind of use the scrolling screen to make things easier. So. So yeah, Mitch gonna use this fire flower here. Gonna try to go for this early P speed. Look like at shot there. Oh, 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 oh okay. okay. All right. I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm just gonna take it yeah. easy. It's still there. Can you get off the screen? Okay. All right. He, he well, wants to be on the screen. I, he turned into a billet bro. <laughs> Helped you out. <laughs> I went right through that yeah, question you block. You did. You did. Hey, we did it though. We did it. That's what I was trying to do in 7 7. Where was that then? Yeah, what I, yeah. It's better than, like, dead stop. Well, actually, I don't know, because that was pretty scary. Yeah. There was, there was a lot going on there. <laughs> There's a lot of ammunition on the screen. You're right, all those bullets. Yeah. 
What? <laughs> Worked out I, well. I mean, you did it. I, I shot two fireballs and it... What okay. happened to the other one? Okay, so I am going to cloud so we can get fire flowers, so, because we can't yeah. fight to the death yeah. now. We yeah. can't, yeah. Fight to the death! <laughs> You're going to have to come back. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I got to come back and fight you. <laughs> Whatever, you know. This is just how it is. I, I don't know what happened to my other fireball there. <laughs> this has been a really, really fun run. I want to thank GDQ so much for letting us come out here and um, do this run. I really appreciate it. This, this is incredible. Um, Having having a friend, um, having a friend to play the game with is just uh, really really fun. It takes a lot of the stress off, and we just get to really have an overall good time. And um, it's not a race, so we're not stressed out of our yeah. minds, you know. Absolutely. And we really get to show off some cool things from Mario Three. So thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, nice to allow them to do this in person. Yes. We uh, did it online last time, uh, a couple years ago. So. Yeah, we were stuck in that small room just sweating. Yeah, it was so hot in there. Yeah. <laughs> Mario 3 is serious, you know? Yeah. All right, we have a $100 donation from Anonymous. Woo! My first time catching GDQ in person and with one of my favorite GDQ runners to watch. I need more. He was talking about me, by the way. I assume so. <laughs> I, I, like, nodded my head like he was me, and then I was like, nah, it's probably actually. <laughs> We have $25 from Magnus, more Mario, and more GDQ. Yeah. Yay! Woo! Let's go. We did it. Orb. Bro. Bro. What? Orb. Bro. Orb. Oh. Rob? Rob. <laughs> Rob. Uh, star. Yeah, so Haxer's only doing this level to get um, <laughs> a fire flower so that when we do the battle mode, Whoever wins oh my goodness. Uh, can, can do Bowser and have Fire Flower. It's my first eight for it. It's my first time. No, we did play really well. We did have uh, some yeah. unfortunate things. I would feel bad if we were like in the middle of like a Wednesday HEDQ and we're like 30 minutes overestimate, but I think, I think we're doing okay. I think we did an estimate of one hour and 25 minutes. Yep. I really don't want to know what our time is right now. <laughs> would you like to know? In, not, in not, yet. We're, not yet. We're close. All right. We had, just add one minute and like 30 seconds, however long this battle is going to be. <laughs> I got a mosey on back. <laughs> so I used the cloud to skip the fortress so I could just go right back and fight action. Okay. <laughs> so this is where we're going to just have a little bit of fun because we're at TwitchCon. Everyone's having a good time. Yeah. And we're just going to... We're going to do... We're gonna do one battle zone, um, and it's uh, either the first person to kill said amount of enemies, which I think is three because there's five, or the first person to die. So, um, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Am I on left side? Is yeah. 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 Okay. I see. <laughs> I see. Oh, oh, oh! What? You don't want to? You don't want to go get it? No! No! He got to! The twofer. Oh! No! Oh! It's up to the blue! No! Yes. Oh, very nice. Luigi the champion. Luigi <laughs> is the champion. Good job. <laughs> that was good. Wait, are we gonna bat? We have to battle again because yes. you went to the pipe? Yes! I got another chance! Yes! No, no, I'll, I'll die. You, you've, you won fair square. <laughs> you know, if we got the fly battle. <laughs> Gave him two chances. What is this? <laughs> I still <laughs> lost. What happened? Very nice. So Bowser's Castle is more or less pretty easy. It's kind of like a little bit of a maze, um, but the Bowser battle itself with fire is a little. It's probably the hardest way to fight Bowser. Yeah. I uh, just got a Karuid. That's okay. Only one Karuid. That's fine. And yeah, Hammer Suit is the easiest. Small Mario is also very easy because Bowser's hitbox doesn't exist in his lower half. And then fire is hard because you got to knock off 30, 35 shots, I think. Yeah! 
you did it. Woo! And the cool thing is, we're actually going to see Luigi on the other side of the door. Luigi is going to save the princess. Yep. Time is on the door entry and right. time. time. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, that battle was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah. Yeah. We, we should do that more often. I just know, battle right? for fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a good competitive game. Yeah. All right, what's our time? 124.10. Hey, we did it! Easy! It. We Let's did go. it, yeah! <laughs> All right. Do we just go right into the any percent? Unless there's uh, some donations to read off yet. Yeah. Okay. We go right into the any percent. I'm already Mario. So yep. what's going to happen is I'm going to play World 1. Get both the this. warp whistles. Um, and then we are going to go to World 7 and we're going to try and do the glitch and save the princess. Mario's got to save the princess too, you know. This can be a little tricky, so I'm going to let Haxer do the majority of the comms for the glitch run. I'll let him talk and I'll let him potentially over explain <laughs> Some things, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let him do most of the talk. I'll just try and focus and make sure I can try and get the glitch. But um, if we are good to go, I can do a countdown in three, two, one, go! <laughs> Woo! All right, take it away, Haxer. All right. So the, we, the winner. <laughs> the winner. So a lot of the beginning of this run is going to look really similar uh, to the last one. He's going to grab the mushroom here. Uh, a lot of times he would skip this, but... He, he's doing it for safety. He doesn't want to accidentally take a hit and then go back. And, uh, he, you know, he wants to have a successful run here. So, so. hold on. Just to chime in, there wasn't yeah. any percent run that I did previous in a, in a marathon yeah. where I messed up a lot in World 1 with basic strats, and I would have got world record in the marathon if I didn't mess that up. So yeah. I just want to point that out. That's why we do the safety stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, anyways, go ahead. All right, fair enough. Yeah, take, um, take it over. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Pretty much the same here. He's playing the second level. In the third level, there is a secret item that we're going to see Mitch grab that hopefully everybody should know about. I think it's one of the, you know, most uh, known <laughs> secret items. I'm going to try and do something really cool here for you all. Okay. So you're going to go for the leaf. Oh, yeah. So he's, he's going for this leaf grab. This is actually a faster way of, uh, of playing World 1 is going for yeah! the tail of this level. So uh, is going for a top level strat there. So that's pretty cool. That was very sexy. It was like a yep. shell jump in an OG yep. Mario game. That was really cool. I had to yep. grab the leaf. Yeah. Yep. And so because he already has this leaf, normally he'd have to get it in the fortress, but he already has it. So he can just fly straight up. Uh, oh, it's not two. It's not two player. It's not, I, I, <laughs> I keep waiting for somebody else's turn. It's my turn again. So yeah, here's the second warp whistle he needs. So everybody knows that if you use both the warp whistles, they'll take you to world eight, right? Well, he actually is going to use one, and then he has to go to world two. Thanks for reminding me, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried there. I was like, wait, do I use them both? <laughs> so yeah, he's going to go to world two here, and then this will then take him to the five through seven panels once he uses it again. And he wants to go to World 7, and 7-1 uh, will be the final level of this run. All right, get those donations in for Mario saving the princess. Yeah. And here we go. We're going to go for the wrong warp. A lot of weird things are going to happen. Haxer, take it away. Yeah, uh, so this tail is really important for him. There's some piranha plants in this stage that he has to take out in order for this to work. They're in this room right here. So very nicely done. Um, he also needs for these Koopa shells to die on particular pixels uh, in order for this to work. But thankfully, for the setup, it's really easy. He just runs up next to this block. He just runs up next to this block here on that side. And then he just has to wait for this Koopa to start moving up, and then he'll stop it or tail whip it. And uh, now he needs this shell to stop on a particular pixel. Um, yeah, that looks good. And he's going to damage boost here. Stomp this shell, and then he's going to wait for it to start moving. He'll go up the pipe, and then he's going to clip in, come back down and clip into one of these pipes on the side. Yeah, so we want to hope that this turtle shell does not move. Watch yep. the turtle shell whenever I get take damage and then go back down the pipe. Hopefully he doesn't move. He did move. I hope this still works. Yeah. So a little move like that can cause the whole game to crash. So we'll see. We'll see if we get it. So now we got to wait for some garbled, scrambled mess here. Sometimes he moves and it works. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes. This is like a 99% thing, yeah, you know. It, yeah. it can work and it cannot. Um, and I will say, I will just yell out time when, when you see Mario. Hopefully it works. And we're about to see if it works. 
Come on, work for us. Hey, hey. we did it. Very nice. Woo, what's our time? 349. Hey, 349. Almost, almost PB'd. Eight-year-old PB. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so that's Mario 3 with me and the Hackster. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. TwitchCon, woo! Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you Everybody all to the home. donators at home. Thank you so much. And GDQ, more importantly, thank you so much. You did good, kid. <laughs> you did good. <laughs>